will face off against the Spurs. Along with Kenny Smith and Craig Sager, this is Kevin Hunter. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. And without further ado, it looks like they're setting up for the tip-off. Dishes it to the inside. Elson passes it up court to Ginobili. Stolen by Pavlovich. Nice interception. He knew where that pass was going before it was even thrown. James. Passes it to Ilgoskis. Five point. Take a trip to the line. Kenny, we know about LeBron James, but there are some other really nice players, nice parts of that Cleveland team. Ruby Gibson, and Verizon, and even Ogoskis, a guy who's been more or less an injury plague center, but again, everything seems to fit nicely on the team, and I give a lot of credit to what Danny Ferry, the GM, and Mike Brown, the coach, have done with meticulously putting this team together. Yeah, they inherited a fixer-upper franchise, and they've really made some definite strides. And I don't see another Eastern Conference team unseating the Cavaliers. Maybe Cleveland uh, will face a Chicago team that continues to get better. But when you canvass the East, Cleveland could be there for a long, long time as one of the dominant powers. One of the powerhouses in the East. But the final shows that they still have a ways to go before they can win it all. He can't get the first. Two. Elson inbounds the ball. Parker brings it up the court. Passes it to Duncan. Off target on that last layup. Duncan went with a little too much showboating on that one. Just get the ball in the basket. Nice pass. Shoots from the post. Went down inside by Gooden. Here's Ogoskis. Buries it from 14 feet. I tell you, Kevin, his mid-range game is impeccable. The defense, <laughs> not so much. Duncan has it on the elbow. The dish to Bowen. Oh, stand back, ferocious block. Skip pass to the elbow. To James. The last layup, no good. Just over three minutes left in the first quarter. Oh, that jam would have been something up. The key word in that phrase? Yep. Bold pass. Ilgostas backs in. Releases. Duncan snatches it inside. The Spurs with a chance to tie the game. If he choked any harder, I have to give him the Heimlich. Duncan. Parker. The tray. It's blocked. Now our sideline reporter, Craig Sager, has some information for us as we get this Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, guys, I had a chance to talk with Greg Popovich, coach of the Spurs. I asked him what would be their game plan. He said we're going to get after it defensively, like always, and let the chips fall where they may. Guys, they can do it, too. Grading turnovers, shutting down shooters, and basically wreaking havoc out there. It should be a hard-fought game. We'll see how it shakes out. Well, he had a chance to tie it up there, but at least they got something out of it. Dishes to Pavlovich. Gets inside. Drilled in by Elgoskis. Duncan inbounds the ball. 159 left in the first. They're Ding up man to man. Gets it on the elbow. 
Here's Ginobili. Couldn't wait to get a hand on that shot. He saw that coming all the way. Gooden passes it back to Ilgoskis. Seven on the shot clock. Looks to break his man down. LeBron with the shot. Nets it from the wing. James rolls up and nailed it right there with a the man in his face. This guy is so impressive. You can do everything right, and he's still going to score him. Manu passes it to the free throw line. To Bowen. To the elbow. Passes it to the left side. Takes it up. Six seconds to shoot. It takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. Both squads are going to make some substitutions. Good inbounds the ball. To LeBron. Leads him with the pass. Here's Gooden. Guides it back in with the soft tap. You gotta box him out. Well, it's easier said than done, Kev. He's a terror on the offensive glass, and he's not afraid to trade some elbows. Duncan. They need to get off a shot. That last six-footer was on the mark. They might want to double-team him down there. He's too skilled on the block for single coverage. And he's got that killer instinct, too. When he gets the ball down low, he won't be denied. Spins. Deflected. There's the horn. And at the end of one, it's 10 to 5. The Cavaliers have taken the early lead. Well, their defense has been airtight, Kev. They're giving up no easy buckets. Oberto inbounds it to start the second quarter. Swings it to Ginobili. Hands it off. Parker crosses it over. They need to get off a shot. Outside. Dishes it to Elson. That last nine-footer was off target. Elson doesn't inspire a lot of confidence when he goes inside, does he? Hughes gets it on the perimeter. The pass to LeBron. Passes back out left. Seven on the shot clock. Hughes gets it to the fall. James is such an impressive passer. Nice look. Parker brings it up the floor. To Ginobili. Finley. Hits the jumper. Malaysia inbounds the ball. Hands it to Ilgowskis. The emphatic champ. Ilgowskis isn't going to win any dunk contest. But if you give him a chance, he'll happily throw it down on you. Under four minutes left in the second. Gets it left wing. Backs down. Finley tosses it up. Ilgowskis reels in the defensive rebound. Crosses it over. Last shot laid in by James. What does it mean for the league, not just the Cavaliers, because I think that's obvious, but for the entire NBA to have a player like LeBron James with his special set of skills emerge, be so dominating, and have the kind of presence he has at such a young age? Well, ever since Jordan retired, the league has lacked that one marquee star who can capture the world's imagination. LeBron has shown potential to be a global icon. 
But in order to do it, he's got to win some championship. It's just simple as that. The Spurs will take their first timeout of the game. Popovich is trying to stop the bleeding. They just haven't been getting it done, and he wants to sort it out right now. Nelson inbounds the ball. The Spurs can cut it to single digits here. Sizing up his man. His first shot of the game kept alive by Monik. Finished nicely down low on that nice shot. Ginobili got in a prime scoring position and got the job done. Nice execution. LeBron tosses it up court. Jacks up the triple. Good. Nice bucket by the fifth-year veteran out of St. Vincent St. Mary High School. 2.15 left in the half. They're D'ing up man-to-man. -man. Parker dumps it to Duncan. James is on it. Duncan had the D right in his face, so he tried to fade away on it. That's a tough shot to make. Off target on that last layup. James feeds it to the perimeter. Backs in. Six seconds to shoot. To James. Left wing. Here's Gooden. Great play to stay with it. Vorejo never quit working. He earned that putback. That's how you battle underneath. The Spurs will take a timeout. Well, let's get back to the action. Bill Gospis is back in the game after a short rest. Duncan inbounds the ball. Dishes to the paint. Slams it home. And the foul. Chance for a three-point play. If you've got a foul, you've got to get your money back. Those three-point plays are backwards. for the three-point play. James passes it up court. To Hughes, shoots it up. Nelson rips down the defensive board. The Spurs can trim it to single digits. The defense couldn't have left him any more wide open. He's got to hit those shots. Flipped up and in on that last layup. Pavlovich passes it to Ilgoskis. Goes up. Flushes it with the one-handed jam. He's not the greatest athlete, but he's got the length to stuff it home when he gets inside. Parker brings it up. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Parker spins. Shooting two. He knocks down the first one. Oberto comes in off the bench. Gets them both. Bill Gostas inbounds the ball. They'll probably hold for the last shot. Perimeter. Passes it to Gooden. The clock runs out and we're heading to halftime. The score. 25 to 16. The Cavaliers have the lead, but this game is far from over. That's right, Kenny. Plenty of time left. And now the T-Mobile halftime report. On the Cavaliers, James is scoring well. He's got eight. Gooden has stood out with his rebound total at four. 
Let's have a look at the team stats from the first half. The Cavs have been working the ball inside an offense. Well, that's a smart way to start out a game. You get your shooter's confidence up with short-range shots, and then they're more likely to hit the ones from outside. All right, the second half should begin in just a moment. Bowen inbounds it to start the second half. Deflects the pass, and it's hauled in by James. Rises and dishes. He read that pass just like a book. He was all over it. Beautiful job to maintain control and sink the basket. He can't complete the three-point play. Ginobili tosses it up court. Duncan throws it up. Can't cut the lead to single digits. Time for the Gatorade Around the Cooler update. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Craig Sig. Craig? Well, as he came out of the Cavaliers' locker room, I spoke with Coach Mike Brown. He told me that they've done a good job of being aggressive and controlling the tempo of the game. He said we've been getting good shots and we've been knocking them down. If we can continue to do that, will be in excellent shape. All right, Craig, we'll see if they can continue their hot streak here in the second half. The feed to Parker. Six seconds to shoot. Dishes, right wing, stolen away by James. Great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. To Hughes. What a pass. Ilgoskis backs him down. Seven on the shot clock. Two hands for safety. Ugauskas isn't a great leaper, but when you're as tall as he is, you're bound to get a dunk now and then. And a great second look with the Sprite Slam Cam. Duncan inbounds the ball. The Spurs will take a timeout here. Popovich can't be pleased with all these bricks. He needs them to work for good shot opportunities and then knock their shots down if they're going to win this one. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Boom. With the crossover. Off target on that last layup. About three and a half minutes left in the third. Oh, that was a perfect chance to finish on the break, but he let it slip away. Ginobili is such a diehard defender. Every time he steps on the court, he's on a mission to lock you down. Backs in. Nice shot, but what an assist by Parker. Sweet touch by the 11th year veteran out of Wake Forest. They're trying to wear him down with some full court man to man defense. Risky pass. The steal by Bowen. Ooh, quick hands. He grabbed the ball right out of the air and picked it off. Leads him in. Nelson up high in down hard. Ooh, good ball. Ilgoskis inbounds the ball. LeBron brings it up the floor. Shot clock winding down. Bounces it to James. One on one. Takes it up. The flush by Ogauskas. Ogauskas isn't going to win any dunk contest. But if you give him a chance, he'll happily throw it down on you. Gets it out left. Duncan backs him down. Oh, might have had a three-point play, but he couldn't power it down. He'll shoot two. Shooting two. Can't sink the first. 
World champion Spurs, Kenny, a team that continues to have the, the game plan, the blueprint, with the same faces and the same system. Yeah, the Spurs are a well-oiled machine, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They'll change a spare part here or there, but as long as they have their big three of Timmy, Tony, and Manu, they're a force to be reckoned with. LeBron swings it to Hughes. That last 19-foot shot was off target. Parker dishes it to the left wing. To Duncan. Perimeter passes it back to the left. Takes it up. Cuts the score to single digits. Put the ball in his hand and good things will happen for him. He's so dangerous. Hugh wasn't careful with his position. He gets nailed with the backcourt violation. You can't be careless around the half-court line. He did, and they're paying the price. Duncan inbounds the ball. Backs down. Can't hit the fadeaway. Duncan took no time at all to put that one up. Still, he was pretty open, so not a bad shot. To Hughes. Here's James. Misses the three. Oh. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. Parker threaded the needle with that pass and got his man for the inside bucket. Nice, nice feed. Six seconds to shoot. Il Gostas backs him down. That last long three was nailed by James. Duncan. Inbounds the ball. They'll probably hold for the last shot. They need to get off a shot. Dishes it to Parker. Manu takes the shot. Great pass by Parker. Parker did a great job with the pinpoint bounce pass. You love to play with guys who will set you up like that. We're at the end of the third quarter with the score, 34 to 26. James has played well. 13 points, four rebounds, and two steals. Yeah, not flashy, but his presence has definitely been felt out there. It's the little thing. LeBron inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. To the elbow. Backs in. Dishes to Hughes. Shot clock winding down. A three ball. Great deed by number 32. Now let's go to our sideline reporter, Craig Sager, for an update. Craig? Well, during the timeout, I listened in on the Spurs huddle. Coach Popovich was careful with his words, but he gently reprimanded his team for their poor free throw shooting. He said, guys, we've got to focus in as best as we can and make those shots count. Sometimes bringing attention to it only makes it worse. Let's see what happens. All right, thank you, Craig. The defender was at least two steps ahead on that pass. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Duncan backs down. It counts. Duncan got a good look at the bucket there and made them pay. Leave him some daylight and he will put it up. Hamlet gets it right wing. The pass back to Ilgostas. From the low block, it falls short. Leads him with the pass. Dumps it to the inside. Here's Duncan. Nothing but net. Ilgostas. Inbounds the ball. The Cavaliers still hold a narrow lead. It's a nail by the pen. This one's coming down to the wire. He needs a hug right now. He tried to do his best to keep the taller player out the lane, but he got dunked on.
to Bowen. Backs in. Duncan. Tried to bank it in, but it's off. Just over three minutes left to the fourth. He read that pass just like a book. He was all over it. Duncan. Bill Dawson spends his fourth rebound thus far. Well, the deep pressure, and frankly, he'll miss some of those even if he's wide open. James. Hold him. Pavlovich. Oh, thought he had enough separation, but those seven footers can make up some ground. Duncan backs down. Puts it up. Drops the slip one. Opposing players get uneasy when he's got the ball in his hand. He always seems to make the right decision to get his team a bucket. The Cavaliers call time. They're ahead by four. 208 left to the fourth. Kenny, what are your thoughts? James is a player who knows how to fill it up. They should try to set him up to score on this next possession. him down. Hughes. Rebounded. Couldn't can it that time, but you keep taking it to the rack like that, and good things are going to happen. He's doubled up. Boom. Oh, the Cavaliers call timeout. They're up by two. 145 left in the game. Kenny, what do you think? Kugowskis has been hot today, and when the game's on the line, you've got to feed the hot hand. They need to get him the rock and let him create. Stolen! Oh, tenacious D, and that's a big-time play. Him down. Hughes. Snatch down. Bill Gostas. Snaps the net. The Spurs call time. They're losing by two. 107 left to the fourth. Ugauskas has got the hot hand, and they needed to call timeout to figure out what they're going to do about it. Well, let's get back to the action. Isolates. Intercepted. 52 seconds left in the game. Nice interception. He knew where that pass was going before it was even thrown. Seven on the shot clock. James. Duncan. That's his third rebound of the contest. Under a minute. They have the ball, and it's within reach. Time running out. Manu. Oh, off target. The Spurs will go for the intentional foul. We still got to foul them a second time to get into the penalty and send them to the strike. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball.
takes the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Huge free throws, Cat. He just put the game out of reach. The Spurs will take a timeout. They're trailing by four. Four seconds left to the fourth. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Duncan inbounds the ball. Manu. Pavlovich sent that one flying. That's his second block so far. The Cavaliers win the hard-fought game as they outlast the Spurs 40 to 36. They got quite a few second chance buckets. Well, they did a great job of crashing the offensive glass. If you ask me, that was the key to their win. That's right. Bill Gostas is the Jordan brand player of the game, and he was impressive. Well, he accounted for a huge portion of his team's points. Game. It was like he was playing against grade schoolers out there. Unbelievable. Now, let's check out the hot zones. Well, that's it for us. On behalf of Kenny Smith and Craig Sig, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports.